let's have like, a look at the extent of the historical record listen, in support of what they said and did. Who wrote about them? Josephus. How many people wrote about Josephus. them? Josephus. What's the date of the records today? Good. Josephus, you mentioned. Yes. When is the earliest... We haven't read Tacitus yet. Let me read the Tacitus records here. But this is a rumour. He's narrating this from rumour. This isn't rumour. We've got the record. Did he make from? Did he actually narrate from primary eyewitnesses? He did write from primary eyewitnesses. Yes. Was he an eyewitness? No, he wasn't. Good. So the second hand, contact with eyewitnesses. Second hand testimony. Second hand testimony. Yes, not but he was an historian. You know, I could. <laughs> I gave you historical record for Hanini Sakogura okay. and Hanaina. I could write an historical record of Winston Churchill. Mm. I've never met Winston Churchill. I didn't live at the same time as Winston Churchill was doing all this stuff. But there are some people still alive today who so did know Winston ask. Churchill. Okay, thank you. Who I could consult and ask. And if I'm an historian, I'm going to research and find evidence and check everything out. And then I'm going to write a record when I've checked everything out. Okay, good. So that's why okay. the historical record of somebody what does it who say? is writing... I'm going to analyse that now with a proper historical scrutiny. Scru okay. And I'll see whether this really amounts to a historical piece of writing which are acceptable. Okay. Yeah. He was a contemporary of Pliny's, Cornelius Tacitus is his name, the greatest historian of Imperial Rome. Mm -hmm. He tells us how the Christians were hated by the populace for their crimes and were made scapegoats for the Great Fire in AD 64 by the Emperor Nero. Now, interestingly enough, Tacitus is not the only person that refers to the fact that Nero blamed Christians for the fire. But anyway, the name Christian, he writes, comes to them from Christ, who was executed in the reign of Tiberius by the procurator Pontius Pilate. Now, Luke also tells us that Jesus started his ministry in the 15th year of Tiberius. So Luke mentions the fact that Jesus was, sorry, that Tiberius was emperor when Jesus was doing his ministry. The pernicious superstition, superstition suppressed for a while, broke out afresh and spread out, not only through Judea, the source of the malady, but even through Rome itself, when everything vile uh, comes and is fatal. Okay. So Tacitus was anti-Christian. Let's analyze something, right? But recorded historical events and recorded the event of Jesus being executed, so he says, by Pontius Pilate when Tiberius was in. Said. So Tacitus got his information from who? Name the person? Well, I, I didn't get his information from one person. Excuse me, excuse me. He did a you, lot of research. You, know, no, you are now telling me to accept someone who was not an eyewitness. He no, doesn't. Let he me. was an historian of the period Said, listen, from 1480. Listen. He started his history, history from 1480 Said, when Tiberius became listen emperor. Listen to my standards. He carried right through to 95 AD. Listen, that was his, that was Said, his period Said, of Said, 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 I know you've been told about all this. Try to be critical it. in thinking. I've right. researched it. Listen. So Tacitus, not being an eyewitness, he got it from someone else. Yeah. Who was this someone else? other people. Who are they? Okay, let me ask my questions. Who are they? Were they honest? Were they trustworthy? Did they ever lie? Did they have good memory? Because okay. if... Let me finish. I let told you. He's not the only Excuse person me. that refers to the fact that Sid, Nero Sid, blamed Christians for the Sid, fire in Rome. Sid, 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 slow down. If someone's going to tell you about an event, he's saying, oh, I'm going to tell you when I didn't even see it myself. You have all the right to ask. Okay. You are not an eyewitness. Who did you get it from? Okay. He, let me finish, Sid. I can tell you. Excuse me, Sid, please. Hold on. Slowly. Tacitus needs to tell you the names of the people and their character. Did he tell the people that he gets them from, number one? And what were the characters like? Did he actually speak to the people who were lying to him? It's possible. People can lie to him. You know what? Oh, I saw this. There are many people who used to lie. We know the exaggerations in the New Testament writings are so many exaggerations. Like the Gospel of John, John, the author, whoever he is, talks about, listen, Jesus. talks about many things that Jesus said. It's his own projection, John's own projection. Historical Jesus, mm -hmm. according to historical Jesus according scholarship. According to the Muratorian canon, I, John is me. writing on behalf of the 12 disciples. Can I, can I make my, finish my point? 
Well, according to, to according, I need to make my point first. According to the scholars of historical Jesus, yeah, scholarship, they acknowledge John's Jesus' statement is a projection of what John believed Jesus said, not necessarily what historically Jesus said. Okay, so that's why knowing the genre at that time, the biographical literature of that time, we know people exaggerated and put words in the mouth of the actors or the people they are relaying it about. It actually says in John's Gospel. Excuse me, excuse me, can at I finish? The end, we are witnesses of these things. Said, who are we? Name them. The other disciples. Name them. The Who are they? Name them. You have no name. Peter, Andrew, look, look. James, so John. when it comes to name, you have James. no name. When it comes to character, you have no character. So you have a source which is not credible, not credible, not reliable. That's nonsense. Yes, that's his All nonsense. All the Your... writings fit with the archaeology, uh, fit with the evidence me. we've got Listen. of Rome at the time. Josephus, move. Let's move on to Josephus. The earliest man unreasonable. Listen, the earliest unreasonable. manuscript of Josephus is from the 9th, 10th and 11th centuries. Do you know how long that is after Jesus? That's the manuscript. Yes. So do you have anything from his time to say Josephus said that? But we got manuscripts. Your manuscripts testament. of Josephus saying that Jesus was crucified is 1000 years late. Well, Later than the Quran. Uh, we're still on Tacitus. Wait, wait, I've, I've done with Tacitus. Have you? Okay. Not reliable, so not reliable. We, reliable. we can reject it easily. Yeah. Josephus is even worse. The manuscripts posted the Quran by a few hundred years. And you're telling me, instead of what the Quran says, I'm going to accept the writing that is four, five hundred years later than the Quran. You are very consistent, aren't you? Sorry, I mean inconsistent. Since, just, since when can I have a Christian in this the, park or elsewhere that picture. can show some inconsistency? It's part of the picture. Look, look, look. You claim that how can I... Remember, this was your objection. How can I accept the Quran which denies the crucifixion of Christ I when... I say that. I said... Your objection was... The overwhelming evidence is that Jesus yes. died in the cross. So your evidence, evidence... Your evidence that, oh, historical people, historians wrote, and the people who wrote the writing you are producing is four five hundred years after the Quran and yet you don't accept the Quran which is earlier than your Josephus' manuscript. wasn't four or five hundred years after. What you're but that's all you got my manuscript friend. Manuscript copy we've got. Excuse me you haven't got anything earlier. You're trusting that and that is still five hundred years is later. Your yeah, belief. Manuscript copy we've look got. look you're still trusting you, that. you don't have I'm any documentary evidence. It, I'm saying that is evidence which goes with all the other evidence. I mean, I'm got. quite surprised the, the lowest if standard the, of evidence, the evidence in Christianity. Say the, the only evidence we got of Jesus was Josephus. I would what say evidence have you got? What else have you got? Enough. So Josephus is not acceptable. What, evidence, what have you got? It's not, not acceptable. I just demonstrated it to you. You're it's not acceptable totally... Term, look, look. You're, when it's part of... Listen, you know, listen, Cassius listen. the Roman historian, Josephus the Jewish historian. And, and who? The Christian eyewitnesses. Who, who are they? Who are they? Name them. And their okay. character. Peter, okay, John, wait, wait, Matthew. Wait, wait, but these are what your Bible reports, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so, so this is what your people believe. Did Peter say, "I saw it myself"? Yes. He actually says, "We were eyewitnesses of His Majesty." No, no, no. no. Did Peter say, "I saw the crucifixion myself"? I'll have to look and see what. He Good. Has a record of what Good. Peter wrote, but so he, he Peter, does, Peter does talk about the crucifixion. So and Peter says he since was you're not, yes. Since you're not sure, who else? Well, Peter does. I'll have to go okay. through it. Why can't be bothered to go through it? You, you can't be bothered to go through it. See, this is your you're religion. Yes? It's your belief. Yeah. Yes. You, you have a belief with so weak no, and I'm, low standards of what I'm saying evidence. Is Unbelievable. The evidence is there. Overwhelmingly there. There is not overwhelming evidence. Your evidences are filthy. Unreliable, Manchester late, dismissing all the evidence. You're not talking about. He I'm asked you. About, I just. I just to, 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 to be fair, so you can look back on it. Yeah, he just all he's asked you to do is provide the evidence, and you said it's there, but I'll have to look it up. Sid, does that sound reliable to you? Sure. Do you know what? Do you know what our stance is? Islam doesn't say there wasn't a crucifixion. Islam says Jesus wasn't crucified, but people thought he was crucified, and then the rumor spread. And what you have now in your historical writings is just that rumor. So I agree with you. Your writings 
is clearly demonstrating it is a well attested rumour. It's not rumour. It's a detailed description of it's the It's just event. a rumour, my friend. It's not rumour. Okay. So, last thing then. It's detailed description of the event. So, the reason Jesus if died. I said, on the 17th of September, I saw Mansour in Hyde Park and we were talking in front of in front of whatever it is, three cameras, about, is it, is, you know, and I write it down. Is that rumour? Sure, listen. One final point is about the camera. No, no, uh, we've moved no. on. We've moved on. Because we're all Sid, witnesses. Sid, we're talking about it. Sid, Sid, you don't have eyewitness writing. We do. Okay. Who was the eyewitness? That, and the, John, Peter, John. Matthew. Hang on, hang on. The book written by John, was it written by John with an yes. autograph? With an autograph initially? There is, yes. The, it, Where can I find that autograph manuscript? Met Metzger says that the author, that um, the actual autographed copy of John mm -hmm. was still available in Ephesus in 351 AD. And is it still available? Signed by him. Is it available? We haven't got the autograph copy. So you haven't now, got anything there? But in 351 they did have it. So currently. And at that time we've got manuscripts look, look. from before 351. Said, if you're not talking about evidence. And in 351 they could go to the original, which was signed said, by John. Said, autograph today, copy. today you haven't got anything to demonstrate as an evidence. All you have is hearsay. That's your level of evidence. So I want to ask you about this. It's not hearsay. The reason God died according to your belief, the reason God died according to your belief is to punish himself to please himself. Look, God saw, according to your belief, humans fell, being wicked. Monsieur, listen to me. Okay, why did God die in your belief? Okay, are you willing to listen? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Because God is holy mm -hmm. and righteous, okay? And for sin, there had to be a sacrifice of one who was perfect, who could stand in the place of sinners, so that if we repent, we can be forgiven. Only someone perfect could stand in the place of sinners. Jesus came was he holy? as a perfect sacrifice. Was Jesus holy? Yes. So in he can't stand in sin. Says, so he can't stand in sin. Your initial problem in is. The Quran says he's the righteous. No, no, listen, son. listen. You start with the problem. So Jesus was holy and can, died can, as a perfect sacrifice. Can holiness so those who repent are forgiven. And this is the way to heaven. Said, can Your paradise doesn't exist. Said, no one's ever been there. Said, listen. Hundreds of people have been instead to of, heaven where Jesus instead is. Instead of preaching, let's discuss it. Including many Muslims. Let's discuss it. You look if, on YouTube. Oh my God. Many Muslims God. have died and been to heaven and seen Jesus and come back and converted to Christianity. Now, no one has ever been to a Muslim paradise with virgins and rivers of wine and loads of food and come back. No one. Why? Because it doesn't exist. They claim to speak. Face the truth. Face the truth. Face the truth. Said, the reason God died. The reason God died in your belief is to take the sins of people to please who? To provide us an opportunity. And to please who? Himself. As a sacrifice for sin. And to please who? It's so that we can go to heaven where no. there has to be holiness Listen, in heaven. God See, killed himself. Seven percent isn't good enough. It's got yeah. to be a hundred percent. Say, you only have a hundred percent. You're preaching. You're, you're preaching. I can preach too, right? We're having a discussion. Well, I've had the reason, times, the yeah, reason your God true. died is he died to punish himself to please himself. Himself. To do what then? It was to satisfy the requirements that God has of holiness. So God in heaven. So you, your God Only holy punished, people can go to heaven. God, your God punish not, not people who've done holy more good said, than said, said, holy, said. People. holy people. Holy yes. people. So the Muslims who died holy. earlier, they were holy. That's why they went to the afterlife, saw Jesus were they, and came back. Were they sinless? Even though they did not believe in Christianity, is were that they correct? Sinless? I'm just saying that the people you mentioned earlier Anyone who died, who's sinless? Sorry, sorry, sin. Just to clarify, the Muslims who died earlier were allowed to go and see Jesus, peace be upon him. They didn't go to hell or anything like that, is that right? So they were holy, is that correct? Even before believing in Jesus. Sid, you've made the day. Do you know why? You've really clarified it all. Muslims, according to your own admission, who did not believe Jesus is in God, who did not believe in Jesus' crucifixion, they went to heaven. I didn't say that. You said they went you to heaven. That. You said they went to Jesus. Jesus. You said they died, they went I'm to... I'm saying... Uh, Muslims Sid, have died. Seems, I'm sorry to say, yeah, go on. You can see it on YouTube. No, no, yeah. Muslim visions and what did you say? Visions of Muslim paradise. 
Well, Muslim people are powered they, up. Did they go to heaven yes. and come back? So they Sterling, went to heaven. Islamic state okay. So said those Muslims who went to heaven and come back, did they believe Jesus was God before? Before? No. Uh, good. So without believing Jesus is God, they went to heaven. Yes. Without believing Jesus is crucified, they went to heaven. Yes. Ah, oh, there you go. And saw Jesus. So that is what but the Muslims they also went to hell. That means Islam is correct. Saw hell as well. That really shows Islam is correct. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. It's all making sense, Sid. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. That's very good, Sid. Well done. Thank you.